welcome everybody to Frank Herbert's Dune. This is gonna be a weird one. Uh, with Dune 2 coming out, or is out by the time this comes out, I was interested in playing something Dune related, and then there's this game. Before you think the screen resolution's wrong, I have to start the game first, but um. The game seems a little quiet, hopefully it picks up noise, but, uh... This is a PS2 game that is apparently extremely janky, unfinished, and a mess. It's about five and a half hours long, and I'm like, let's do it, so here we are. Let's just jump into it. It's a masterpiece from what I've seen. I only played it for two minutes. I did a tutorial. It was a mess. I am hey, 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 hey. Alright, let's do some story. <laughs> At least I think the resolution should To fully normal. appreciate oh, the inevitable unfolding of events, one must begin by placing the events in time. The year is 10,191, 57th year of Emperor Shaddam IV's rule. To be precise, the Day of Peril. Location. We are on Arrakis, otherwise known as Dune, the planet of sand. This is the only known source in the entire universe of the essential spice. Now for the main protagonists. First, Duke Leto Atreides, planetary governor of Dune. He has just been double-crossed by the Emperor and slain by the evil Baron Harkonnen. His immediate family have either been killed, arrested, or have escaped. His wife Jessica and his young son Paul, henceforth Duke, have fled into the desert. At this point, it is best to call him Paul Atreides. The unknowing would say that his was a desperate plight, but the man who will become known as Muad'Dib has already begun to shape his fate. His mission is to round up the Fremen, a people tucked away in the desert who stand up to the Harkonnen. Through them, oh, Paul will regain his kingdom and avenge his family. That model, that face model. Oh man, I'm hyped for Dune 2 now. Thanks, game. Mother, don't untie your distiller. It will recycle your body's own water much more effectively. It's all we have. I can see Fremen settlements. <laughs> Can you smell something strange? Uh, that's one of the sandworms. It's close by. If we step on the sand, it will detect us. I'm going to look for the thumper. It'll put the worm off our scent. Oh, jeez. Why am I doing this? <sighs> well... Okay, let me read this. Paul and his mother, Lady Jessica, flee the Harkin. Lost in the sands, they try to rally the Freeman, the desert's mysterious inhabitants. Having located the remains of an old Freeman site, sect, Paul decides to take a closer look by crossing the desert surface, risking a confrontation with the Shahod, the worm of the sands. I don't know why there's a disc there. Mother, I disc. I'm going to find the thumper. Wait here. Oh, the, God, it looks like a very cheap anime protagonist. One second, is there subtitles? There is. I'm sorry. Now we have them. 
Um, oh god. Oh jeez. Alright, one second. Uh, audio settings. Oh, everything's already up to 10. Never mind, I was gonna... Okay. Oh, it's inverse. Woo, this controls well. Yeah. Man, I'm excited for Dune 2 now. You have just picked up a thumper. Objective accomplished. Collecting a thumper. None of my buttons do anything. I am not joking. Oh, wait. The select button. Okay. Uh, Time is against us. We must hurry. I'll follow you. Mother, your mouth isn't moving. Are you okay? We must get to the Fremen site. Time is running out. Uh, also, I'm. your eyes shouldn't be blue yet. We haven't been here long enough for them to be blue. Ah, whatever. I guess we're crossing the sands. Yep, reach the, free, the Fremen site. Alright, here we go. Oh, is this quicksand? What is this? Oh, it's really, really, really slow to move in it. What is it? Oh, God. Mother, your steps are too even. You'll give us away. Try to avoid the areas of dark spice. They slow you down. I don't like this place. Um, uh, you're supposed to say I don't like this place one bit. Oh, man. Man, can't wait for Dune 2. Dark Spice blows you down. Oh, at least a thumper sounds like a thumper. And we're here. My mother's running slow mo. Fear not, as long as we can hear the thumper. Come on, quick! Okay, so apparently the thumper is gone. The sand worm took it. Now the question is, where am I going? Uh, there's sand. A lot of sand out there. Uh oh. Uh, we got another loading screen. The funny thing is, this is digital. It's not even physical, yet it wants to load all the time. Oh, that's a sandworm. Wait, what the? Why is there lightning coming from the worm? My mother went this way. Uh-oh. Where am I running to? I have no idea. Um. Oh wait, there's light sand. Yes. Run! Why is there just random lightning? That's not how they work, I think. Textures are breaking. Not gonna lie, this 
Jesus. Jank. That thing is big. Hey, I made it. Sweet. Basically beat the game. Wow. I hate that we're missing the entire Fall House of Trades. That's one of the better parts. Look at the pretty picture, nephew. A bull of extraordinary strength has flattened Paul's grandfather. I, the most powerful man in the Empire, have killed his father. One of Arrakis's unforgiving storms has swept the child away. Um, the subtitles are really far behind, and the mouth just doesn't stop moving. An awesome combination of power has rid us of the Atreides, uncle. <laughs> He has a pig face. Raban, you must recapture Dune. Its surrender has been very costly to us. Our investment must pay dividends. May we be bathed in torrents of spice. <laughs> Don't forget to remind the locals of the Harkonnen mean business. Let them bury themselves in a stinking cage while we make our fortune. Yep. Oh dear, this one is interesting. The Fremen are more than just a scattered bunch of natives. Our soldiers report that they are fearsome fighters. <laughs> Do I detect fear in your eyes, Raban? The Fremen quake in their boots at the mere mention of my name. Those mouth animations are <laughs> of scary. course. The beast rabban flood the desert with their blood. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep, those were some animations. Those are some facial models. Note that that is some mouth sinking. The Fremen know that the most ferocious storms can be traced to the nethermost regions of the desert. Sometimes a harmless gentle breeze on the sand can turn. Paul, meanwhile, was planning retribution for his father's death and a way to reconquer Dune. Stilgar had found the Atreides in a siege bastion in the desert abyss. This is where Jessica gave birth to Aaliyah, Paul's sister. Holy cow, Just we're really Duke going Lido's forward. Death, Jessica had become the reverend mother of the Fremen. Yeah. Paul was now called by his Fremen name of Paul Moadib. Inside the siege, he was adding the final touches to stage one of his plan, an all-out guerrilla attack on the Harkonnen spice harvests. We just skipped a big portion of the book and movie. Like a fair, another big portion. When he's trying to earn their we trust. We will require more than my tribe's worth of warriors to cut off the Harkonnen spice supply. Stilgar, how about summoning the other tribes? Oh, the audio here is just broken? As in, uh, we will serve as a brave man, is it? Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, the audio here apparently broke for this line. What's our first planned mission? The obliteration of a carriole and a harvester. 200 kilometers in a northwesterly direction from here. Dude, you're scaring me. 
I'll go it alone. That's suicidal. When I return, news of this accomplishment will spread around the sieges and the desert's nadir. Then we can count on many more recruits. <laughs> I refuse to accept these terms. I shall proceed with or without your approval. I wouldn't put it past you. I need equipment. Find Baron. He's in charge of weaponry. He'll supply you with an SOS launcher, a vital object. You'll also need a crease. I believe the Chani is looking into that. He is going to eat the camera, and I'm scared. Chani? The Atreides are brilliant strategists, but naive on other matters. Come and find me when you have everything. I shall take you to the ambush site. You must make use of your trip to the siege and talk to the Fremen. Knowing that you are near does wonders for their morale. The Seek is a village built in a small rock island in the midst of the dunes. Located deep in the desert, it cannot be breached by the Harkon patrols. The Freeman's guerrilla warfare against Raban is planned here. Oh. Oh, God, it has to load every time. Are you in possession of your crease and the thumper? Not yet. What do you expect? You while away your time giving rings to women. I'm sorry, I have no idea what's going on, even though I have read bo the, the book. Kalu, how was your trip to the siege? We had to time our movements to avoid Harkonnen reconnaissance patrols. But it was well worth the effort. Stilgar asked me to organize the relaying of information between our patrol teams and the siege. Is there any news on the resumption of spice harvesting? From what we are told from several sources, Raban has to respect the high quotas governing the harvesting of spice, much more so than during his first term here. He's taking risks. His harvesters are sinking their teeth deep into the desert bed. If it were up to me, I would strike now. I think I know where most of this five hours is gonna go. Dialogue loading. Can I do anything? Exit. Equipment. What do I have? I have... The distiller is made of pockets which collect the body's water and recycles it to make it drinkable. The item of clothing is essential for survival in the desert. A freeman can travel for weeks in the desert without carrying water if he has a well-adjusted distiller. Tubes inserted in the collar allow the recycled water to be drunk at any time. The water has an invigorating quality. Now that is at least some good information. So yeah, I have listened to the audiobook, which honestly has a full cast. It was amazing. On top of that, I've seen the original movie and Doom Part 1. Hate to say it, I don't think this is uh, gonna be as good. May the desert protect you, young Atreides. Thank you. Okay, ooh, man, that does not want to stay up at constant frames, does it? Oh, dear. The game's having difficult, and I'm... I can play games on it, but jeez, this one's too much. Oh, hi, sister and mother. Now my mother's eyes should be blue. Not before. Paul. Did you have one of those wakening dreams? Mother, I know we've already talked briefly of these visions. Don't you think it's high time you filled me in? 
Destiny's siblings create a web and you see the results. Time and space intersect at these points. The interstellar navigators use spice to work their way through space-time and to pilot their long-distance aircraft. You're equally sensitive to the presence of spice. I'm convinced that it's responsible for your dreams. You can no doubt visualize some key moments whose ending is still undecided. Yep, she's still talking, apparently. Are they fragments of the future? Can I change them? Is that the power of Kwisatz Haderach? Kwisatz Haderach? Excuse me, Paul. I have to mark your sister's memory tests. Hello, sister who has mind powers, and you're getting a quite a belly on you already. Little sister? Whatever you may think, I am not a little baby. Remember, I was in Mother's womb when she drank the water. I share all the knowledge of the succession of Fremen Bene Gesserit mothers. Hers included, Big Brother. Given the scope of what I know, I could easily call you Little Brother. I'm scared of this creature. It's the scariest one yet. <laughs> oh god, stop, please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I have no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going, and this game is kind of jank. The music is trying to be nice. Oh god, look. I'm sorry, but you can tell there's just a lot of incomplete textures. Is this where I need to be? Because I have absolutely no map or anything. I got nothing on my controls. Not even select is working anymore. Tell me what my objectives are. Hello, who are you? You've never used an SOS jammer before. No. The spear missiles that we deploy are not potent enough to destroy a Harkonnen carriole. Its engines are too big. The only way is to hijack a harvester as it collects spice and then have it picked up by a carriole. Blocking the sand-removing nozzles turns the harvester into a self-timing bomb with enough force to destruct the carriole. I understand the function of the jammer in disrupting the harvester's transmission mechanism and cutting off all communication links, but why the SOS signal? I can't speed this up, by the way. I can't. That's where it gets interesting. When activated, the jammer emits a false distress signal. The carriole comes to the rescue of the harvester, reasoning that it's encountered a sandworm. Clever. But that implies that the saboteurs only have a limited amount of time to block the sand-removing nozzles. Every plan has its drawbacks. Here, use it to good effect. Alright, we got the jammer. I think. Yay! Inventory. And... Ah, okay. And jammer SOS. Developed by Baron, the jammer has two functions. Placed on the harvester's communication antenna, it cuts off all radio contact. In addition, it gives off an SOS signal to care to the carrying wings so that they come back and pick up the harvester. Subach will kahar, Hara? Well enough to know that you've come to parrot my pots, Paul Mordib. However, these sandheads have already gobbled up the first batch of Kulan Mishmish. I have not come for your food. You never told me to whom the Harkonnen armor in your kitchen belongs. 
Jemis. He brought it back as a memento of a foray near the Great Shield. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring that up. Nobody is to blame for my husband's death. I sometimes think to myself that it was all in vain. If only I could have avoided it. Oh, was that the husband you fought one-on-one -on -one to the death? Oh, I know, Paul. His passing away might well benefit me at the mercy of my men with complete different, completely different characters to yours. Jamis was a friend. Okay. He taught me the value of life. Oh, wrong guy. I, I honestly have... May God bless you, Paul Moedib. No idea. I will say aloud what the others are whispering. I believe you are the Messiah. May the Corioli spare you. Alright, let's get moving. Woo, let those frames drop. Man, I love how I go from a nice, good game, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force 1, to this. Mm. I would edit it down, but it's only a five hour game. From what I saw from the average plays, it's it's a five hour game. Thank God if it was longer, I don't know if I could do it. Nope, 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 not there yet. Johnny, I see you've managed to make a workshop. The plants are beginning to grow. We'll soon have a true insight into Fremen Heaven. Leet Kynes would be proud of you. To pick up where my father left off with his plantation is one thing. What you're doing quite another. To organize and unite the Fremen is a massive challenge. Your father saved my life when the Harkonnen launched their offensive. I promise to repay him. Water will flow on Dune. Water and clear air. Trees as well. I would have loved to see your world. I can't take you there, so we'll just have to recreate a part of it here. The water reserves are increasing slowly. We shall be long gone before Dune is fertile. Look, as long as the Harkonnen don't know about your people's plan, there's every chance that it will succeed. Uh, those are... I have something for you, Muad'Dib. A crease. You already showed your mastery of it against Jamis. I hate to say it, the, the, the subtitles, as shocking as it is, are not... The blade is made from a sandworm's tooth. ...are not adding up to what they're saying sometimes. One of Shai Hulud's teeth. Yes. Only you can carry it. It is the Fremen's secret weapon. Should a stranger see the blade, it will claim his blood. If you lose it, it will automatically self-destruct. Thanks, Johnny. Ah, oh, good, I got my crease. Oh, all right, let's read that one. Equipment, my crease. The blade of this white weapon is made from the tooth of a sandworm. The crease is the preferred weapon of the Freemans. It is discreet and can put enemies out of action with one well-placed blow. The crease is a symbolic value for the Freemans. They are the soul bearers. Each crease is associated with a bearer. If it's taken too far away from that bearer, the worm's tooth disintegrates. Alright, I got my crease and the SOS beacon. Let's continue with this well-made game. 
I can't wait to get through the combat. <laughs> the tutorial did not strike me well for the combat. Have you ever seen a carriole on fire, Muadib? Uh, what? Wait, what? <sighs> oh, wait, I don't know what I'm selecting. Have you ever seen a carriole on fire, Muadib? Uh, 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 okay, so I'm selecting the bottom one. Jeez, make it more clear, please. We will make tracks at nightfall. The worm will act as our transport until we get to the ambush point. Has Baron explained how the SOS jammer works? Yes? It jams the harvester's communication network and sends a false SOS to the carriole. Good. Your mission is split into three parts. First, you must climb onto the harvester and hide the jammer. You must tread carefully, as there will be almost certainly a military presence around the harvest area. Stage two, once the SOS has been launched, you have to work your way inside the harvester and locate the sand-removing nozzles. These must all be shut down to create the state of overheating. Thirdly... Yes, thirdly. Oh, dear. Let me guess. Oh. Escape from the harvester before it is taken away by the carriole. Otherwise, I'll be stuck inside when it explodes. Your intelligence will only be of any use should you survive. Use this projectile pistol. Oh no, not the pistol. I shot the pistol tutorial. It's very Stilgar, bad. Don't worry about me. You're as good a judge of character as your father was. Uh, <laughs> I like Dune. I do. The Harkin Harvester. Stilgar has organized guerrilla attacks in the Harkin harvesting equipment. The objective is to obliterate a carryall, an oppressive transporter of harvesters in the desert. In a preset time span, Paul must sneak into a fully functional harvester and cripple it so that it explodes when the carryall collects it. Depriving Raban, Dune's Harkin governor, of this substance, place him in an awkward position. It's a step towards control and spike. Spice production. Keep our Paul's plan to reoccupy Doom. Yay! Why did they have me facing the wrong way? Are you all ready to see this amazing combat? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. oh. Doing so good, everybody. Okay, how good or bad is this AI? Also, why is it flashing constantly? Okay, look away. No. Ow. No. Nobody move. Die, Bremen. controlled like a game oh. 
video game. I have no idea what I just did. Oh wait, I got my gun out. Oh god, this camera does not control. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, look at this combat. Evolutionary. Wow, the best thing in the game is that lighting ladder climbing animation. At least it looks oh, never mind, look at the hands. Ooh. There we go. SOS beacon. Now I gotta go. Oh, you can't turn like that. Uh, I got 10 minutes to leave. Uh, very forgiving. to get inside the harvester. My bad. Also, <laughs> oh, that must be the flashing in the corner now that I think about it. Is that ammo? That is ammo. Also, wait, give me a second. Objectives, no, not you. There it is. This medium well powered handgun is very common in the Imperium. It quietly propels metal projectiles, the effectiveness of which decreases rapidly with distance. Its loader contains little ammunition. Alright. Listen, I'm sorry, but I'm trying here. <laughs> So I got 10 minutes. Get in, get out. Let me in. Control's a little rough. Oh wait, do that again. I saw that for a second, you can't hide it from me. I saw the eyes pop out his head, basically. Come on, let's go. And it begins, In 10 minutes.
Come on. No, I went back to loading. Come on. There it is. Die. All right, let's get that blinker away. Create excess heat. All right. Go, 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 yeah! Oh. Why? I hate that mechanic. It's useless in this game. Sounds like it's speeding up. That's good. to give me some guidance. I can't read your mind. Oh, wait. Oh, 
Oh, wait, what? Oh, no. I don't know the combination. Where would they put it? Oh, there it is. Oh, you know what? One second, I'm gonna take a picture of that. That's better. Okay, we can do it. Yes, I'm cheating, because, yeah, that... I would not remember. Alright, I need... You. Uh, you. 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 And you. Okay. I have no idea where that is. Actually, I do have an idea. Never mind. Oh, wait, that was it? Yay! The spice and equipment losses are high. Are you sure your units are providing proper protection? But the desert is teeming with Fremen! <laughs> Appoint a new officer for the harvests, and tell him what has happened in this saga. I should have aimed for the legs. Our leadership styles are not so different. Ever since you left Staban to X charge, your smugglers have been under guerrilla attack from the Fremen. In contrast to my former boss, I don't envisage any obstacles to a partnership with the Harkonnen. Less of a crackdown on your smugglers by my troops. In return, your total cooperation in the battle against the Fremen. Man, if you never read the book or watched the movies, you'd still... I, I, even I barely have any idea what's going on. And I know some of the lore, at least. Oh, gotta load the load. That's odd. What's up? The rate the Harkonnen harvesters are accumulating spice doesn't tally with the amount filling up their depositories. They don't put all the spice into official depots. My father mentioned secret stashes. Why conceal the spice? To pull the wool over the Emperor's eyes, thus enabling Baron Harkonnen to add to his wealth with stolen spice. If we are to beat Raban, these secret depots must be found. Where is Raban hiding them? I don't know. Mwadib! That guy's legs are missing. <laughs> I've worrying news about the arrival of a planetologist. He's the Imperium inside is sending the counter. him to take over from Liet Keynes to resume research in the experimental station. A 
I'll warn Chinese right away. Okay. Don't stand in the counter next time. The Seek. The Seek is a village of the Mist Dunes. Oh, wait, I don't need to read that. I already did. I am. Yep. Does it save at set locations? If so, one second, I got this. I'm gonna do a save state there. Yeah! Because I'm gonna call this one here. I'm gonna beat this game. I am. But oh boy. This is the most jank I've played in a long time. And on top of that, the game audio is messed up. I, I try and turn it up, but then when they talk, it's really loud. It's weird. But yeah, um, we're gonna finish this game. Uh, it's probably five episodes. They said about five hours. So yeah, expect most of it to be loading screens and talking to more loading screens. Until then, I'll see you next time. And bye bye.